It has to rain on the good and it has to rain on the bad. But at the end of the day, the rain is not going to stop pouring. So are you going to have an umbrella and keep it walking or are you just going to get wet and just be soggy? When I was growing up, I was supposed to be a performer. My mother could really sing and my grandmother was a singer as well. They had me sing everywhere all the time, especially at church. You know, it's only right that the preacher's granddaughter is able to sing at church, right? Singing was my absolute strong suit, but I did not want to be a singer. I wanted to be a doctor. I fell in love with the show ER. I don't know if y'all remember that show ER, but it was my jam. And I was like, I'm going to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor so bad. And I eventually went to pre-med school at the University of New Mexico. That's when I discovered that med school or pre-med school is not for me at all whatsoever. And I was like, yo, I can't continue this much longer. So I was really heartbroken at the fact that my childhood dream of becoming a doctor was not really for me. You know, it's not like it wasn't possible. It just wasn't for me. So I come home. I started all over with school, ended up just going back to junior college. I fell in love with communications I fell in love with speaking and I really fell in love with the subject. More specifically, I fell in love with the behind the scenes aspect of performance, the business aspect of it, because I love money and I'm about it. I'm all about it. So that ultimately led me into PR. I was able to uh, co-lead two successful campaigns for the city of Long Beach, uh, had a successful campaign run and internship for the Long Beach airport. Part of the time when I was taking care of my mom, things got really rough. A lot of the financial responsibility, not just for, you know, taking care of the household, but also just taking care of her medical finances, you know, was on me. And things got really dark and difficult, like really, really bad to the point where I really considered just like giving up, you know, on getting my degree. But I was so hard pressed and I kept telling myself like, this is only temporary. This is only temporary. This is not forever. This is not your life. Like even when I would get to those moments of going home at night, like, Believing my job at 1.30 to go to classes all the way till like 7.30, 8.30, you know, to come back home, to be up again at 2.30, to make it back to work at 4.30 in the morning, you know, those moments of like exhaustion, you know, naturally I would want to give up, but I would just constantly tell myself like, just, this is only temporary, you know, you're going to be able to graduate, you're going to be able to put yourself in a better position to, you know, take better care of yourself and your mom. It has to rain on the good and it has to rain on the bad, but at the end of the day, the rain is not going gonna stop pouring so are you gonna have an umbrella and keep it walking or are you just gonna get wet and just be soggy and I'm not a soggy person I I'm I'm more of a solution-based person you know what I mean like okay yeah let's move on like what is this that's what I just keep myself focused on it's only temporary yeah I messed up what did I learn about it okay cool I'm not gonna do that next time let's just keep moving I can be a boost, boost.